Herd health is always a top priority for members of the beef industry, but new restrictions on the purchase and use of certain antibiotics could have a big impact on how you care for your cattle. Joining us now is Dr. Julia Herman. She's the beef cattle specialist for NCBA. Dr. Herman, the Food and Drug Administration has announced that they're moving a number of those medically important antibiotics from an over-the-counter product to a scripted product. Um, why are they doing this? Uh, great question. So this is part of the FDA's plan to uh, improve responsible and judicious use of anti antibiotics in uh, the, the animal industry. So it's not just the livestock industry. And so uh, this is one step in their plan. And we, uh, you may have remembered the veterinary feed directive that yeah. happened a few years ago. This is just another step in their plan where they're taking that, uh, taking that next step and moving these over-the-counter, uh, like you said, over-the-counter medically important antimicrobials to prescription only, which means uh, if you don't already have a relationship with your vet, you're gonna have to have that because prescription uh, only medications can only be prescribed by a veterinarian. And that was gonna be my next question. I mean, what are you recommending in terms of how producers should prepare for this shift? Uh, we have a few months before that happens. Uh, it, so we have a few months until June until that happens, and so if, Producers don't already have a relationship with their veterinarian. I recommend, uh, you know, reaching out to maybe their community members, other ranchers uh, who might have a veterinarian, trying to make those connections now. Mm -hmm. uh, veterinarians, uh, I mean, we're all really busy and short staff. Veterinarians are also that way. And so uh, making sure that they are able to come out to your place, check out your herd, understand your operation and uh, sign that VCPR and get that in place is really important. Undoubtedly, there's a lot of parts of the country that are experiencing a shortage of large animal vets and so some people have to go further than others for those things but why is it so important regardless of whether you have a vet 10 miles away or 100 miles away that you have that good working relationship with a veterinarian veterinarians are really key to animal health i mean we are trained uh, specifically to look at the big picture, look at all the different aspects of animal health. And uh, I think it's nice to have a second set of eyes out on the operation. And you know we can uh, go out there and help with herd health planning, biosecurity planning, uh, and trying to improve your operation. I mean, that's, that's what we're here for. We wanna help the producer do better. You know, another serious threat and, and important issue to the beef cattle industry is that of foreign animal disease, like foot and mouth. Um, tell us what some of the things that uh, NCBA is doing in order to prevent uh, that from happening. Uh, yeah, preventing foot and mouth disease from coming into the country and uh, preparing our producers in case that happens is a really important uh, objective for NCBA. Beyond advocating for the national vaccine banks uh, that we have already been doing. The Beef Quality Assurance Program has an entire biosecurity platform ready for producers. And so on our website, bqa.org, uh, there's a daily biosecurity plan for uh, disease prevention. And so it's you can fill it out online or uh, on the computer as a fillable PDF, or you can download it and hand, and hand write it. So okay. uh, it's a multi-step plan that you can go through with by yourself or with a veterinarian, mm -hmm. but it's really evaluating what you're doing now and what you could be doing uh, a little bit better. We can always be continuously improving to protect our herd. And so uh, that resource is, uh, has been developed and hopefully being used out in the country. Thanks, Dr. Herman, for those insights. We appreciate that. NCBA's producer education team strives to keep producers informed on industry technology, innovation, and systems. They host webinars at least once every two months where expert speakers share insights on specific beef industry topics. Go to ncba.org and click on the Events tab for more details.